Ooh. Damn, this guy's got speed. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. What's that guy's name? I want to know that guy's name. So this week on the YouTube poll, Monster X beat out Stray Kids and got seven. So Monster X coming at you right now. I don't know anything about them. I know that, you know, I, there's seven guys. They're all far more attractive than I am. It's understandable. He's strong and mysterious and sort of compact, but well muscled. And a lot of the army and the and the EXO fans were talking about these guys in the comments after I mentioned that I liked um, like uh, more aggressive rap styles. And so I'm guessing that that's sort of what I'm getting into right now. Um, people were like, well, if you think Mic Drop is aggressive, wait till he hears Monster X. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to wait. I want it now! I want cake now! I want it now! So just because the other ones didn't win, by the way, they are still probably going to get done at some point. I'll throw some other polls up, see who wins out. I'll keep doing this type of thing. Uh, might start a Patreon account soon, just for, like, you know, voting or donating. Uh, eventually, maybe some, some tiers where I could offer special stuff like extra videos, maybe early access. Uh, but I'd have to become a little more consistent for that. Uh, this is stuff that you guys don't have to worry about for a little while, but... You know, eventually, maybe, if you guys want to help me out, support me a little bit, I could upgrade my equipment and uh, make some better videos for you guys. And also offer you guys extra content that uh, we didn't have before. So, if this is anything like <coughs> Mic Drop or uh, the EXO song I reacted to, if this is anything like those, then... Like, my ho... I've got high standards, but I've also got high expectations. And those two things together, it's hard to, to, to be successful when people are expecting a lot out of you. Uh, by the way, subtitles are on. I see them. You won't see them. Play. Well, that starting beat is definitely... It's got that aggressiveness that I'm looking for. Walker, Walker, Walker. Growling. It's in English, too. Whoa, Whoa, what the hell? Is this how this guy always sounds? I mean, he sounds awesome, but like... And he's talking about walking like a zombie. I should have waited for all my zombie theories and mic drop to just wait to get to here, because clearly they're actually talking about some sort of zombie situation. Ooh, little falsetto there. It's good. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Look at that guy's eyes! Jesus Christ. He actually looks like one of the... the... He's got eyes like the zombies in Game of Thrones. I love this when they go into their little zombie thing where they're like walking slow and... Ooh. Ooh. Damn, this guy's got speed. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. What's that guy's name? I want to know that guy's name. So far, he's my favorite. I like this guy, too. Their vocal progressions are really interesting. It's like, uh, they'll sing slowly for a couple seconds and they'll pick it up real quick with like a, a few words they'll go super, super fast. Really kind of mixes it up a little bit and keeps it from getting stale during the slow s singing parts.
All right, we got a bridge coming in now. The beat's rising. Gonna get a drop. Right back into the chorus, so really short bridge. Just a little vocal exercise there. I feel like I can't really tell how good of dancers they are because it looks really cool what they're doing, but it's also like there's such a strong gimmick behind it that uh, they're c this is clearly not what it looks like always when they when they dance. That was a pretty sick song. Loved the verses. The verses were awesome. Um, the rap parts, these guys clearly got some serious talent and serious skills with the raps. Uh, I wanted to hear a little bit more on the bridge. Like, just, it was just kind of like two lines long. And uh, it sounded good, but there wasn't much to it. And if you follow my channel at all, you know that I'm big into bridges. I like that, that part of the song that really breaks up the normal flow of it. And uh, so I kind of focus on that a lot. If a song doesn't have a, a great bridge, a lot of the times it, it disappoints me a little bit. But as long as the rest of the song can carry it, then I'm cool with it. In this instance, I thought the, the verses were so good that I would... Those were awesome enough alone that this song would make it onto my Spotify playlist just so I could... Especially since a lot of it was English, too, so I could, like, rap along to it. Which, I'm always a huge fan of that. Like, there's just something so cool about... Uh, K-pop groups when they sing in different languages. And then I walk around in America, like, nobody speaks another language. Like, you've got the the Spanish speakers, the, the people that spoke Spanish originally, that also speak English most of the time in America, but the, the original English speakers, they... Almost none of them try. And then I hear these K-pop groups where you got, like, you know, 20-something-year-olds, or even teenagers in some instances, where they're capable of speaking fluently in a different language and then putting it into music that's so impressive to me. So the fact that these guys were able to take those, uh, those, those raps, like, fast raps, and do stuff in English is just, it always gives me, it gives me more respect for whatever I'm looking at or listening to at that time. So I, I huge props to them. Uh, chorus was catchy, wasn't anything crazy, uh, it was there spe for a specific reason, which was to take the fast rap uh, heavy verses and break them down into something a little smoother, a little catchier, so it kept the groove going a lot uh, throughout the song, so fan of that also, I probably would have done the same thing if I was writing the song. I have like a Spotify, Spotify playlist that's specific to K-pop music, and the ones that I really like get instantly put onto Spotify. Uh, other ones may take a couple weeks for me to like kind of get into the song. Cause I always listen to these songs more than once after I react to them. Um, and then some of them never make it on at all. I'm not going to tell you guys which ones those are. This one I can tell you for sure that it's going right on. This is li just like Mic Drop. Um, Idol actually took me by uh, Idol from BTS. It took me a little while to get onto there because it was it's a cool song, but it, it takes a little getting used to. I think it's really different. Uh, Mic drop made it on instantly. I put it on as soon as I finished reacting to the video. This one's gonna be the same thing. I really, really dug that one rapper. Also, the I think he had a pink hair. That guy was man. I really like that guy. Anyway, I think that's uh that's it for today, guys. Come back in a day or two, and uh, we'll have some who is BTS. I believe is going to be the next video that I do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Por favor. Annyeong.